I don't really know how this happened or why this happened, but the fact remains that it did happen. Essentially, on Monday, I was in the house on my own and I, I ate an entire box of Oreos. All to myself, you know. Well, that already to me seems like a long time ago. You know, I was a different person back then. I was eating so much sugar over Christmas that I ballooned. Well, I mean, not over Christmas. This is a gradual period that happened over the pandemic. I reached a point, you know, that point being my 40th birthday, where I just said to myself, no more, Lawrence. I didn't listen to that warning, obviously, because Christmas came after my birthday. But after Christmas, I reiterated that warning to myself, no more, Lawrence. And I subsequently got the message that you can't just have a whole tin of Oreos to yourself and expect that to be both, you know, useful, healthy, and entertaining. I mean, presumably it was somewhat entertaining, so I don't apologise or feel guilty for it. But I did know that I had to change my ways, otherwise I would go to an early grave at the age of 106, and I want to live on beyond that. And that's partly why I decided that I was going to go the whole year of 2022 without eating anything that contained added sugar. Little caveat to that, Everything seems to have added sugar in it. But to the extent that I am able, I have done my utmost to not consume it. And that has been now going on for five months and 20 something days. And I feel fantastic, you know? And that's not something I, I often say, you know? Usually it's like, I feel all right. You know, I just got out of bed. Now I'm going back to it because I'm tired. That kind of thing has gone away. I am, I'm filled with energy. Uh, as opposed to filled with energy drinks. And it's great. And because it's great, I don't want anybody typing in their advice, Uncle Toby, on why this is a bad or a good thing. For me, it's a very good thing. Not only do I feel better, but I've lost 14 pounds in weight, all right? So yeah, I can hear your applause. 14 pounds in weight, that's an entire stone. And if you don't know what a stone is, that is an English unit of measurement, which equals 14 pounds. Probably got that from the clue a moment ago, right? It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. But I made this decision while living in the United States of America. And something that you should know about the United States of America, which you probably do, because most of my audience is from here, is that, um, well, it likes its sugar. Added sugar, as opposed to natural sugar that you would find in the likes of fruit, is in many, many food items and many, many food items that I previously consumed and or devoured. So the absence now of those foods has made it so that my um, diet is completely different to what it used to be. And it has to be by necessity. But it's hard. It's a challenge in America to make that happen. Why? Well, because added sugar is in things like bread, right? There are certain breads where there'll be a complete absence of it. Sourdough is a good example. Sourdough, of course, the uh, choice of bread that I used to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with, which I can no longer do. And also you hated me for that, so I stopped. You have to read all the labels. I, I'm becoming very literate, you know, just in general, uh, because I have to read so many uh, food product labels. And honestly, you might think, ooh, that sounds like a pain. No, it's so much fun. It's because I'm learning stuff. You know, I like to learn. It's been brilliant to just figure out what has and what hasn't got it in. And there's many surprises. I mean, I already knew that ketchup had sugar in it, added sugar, but you know, I think a lot of people aren't aware of that. It's just really unexpected things will have added sugar in it. And you've just got to be cognizant of that if you are somebody who's doing this challenge, which I am. And again, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for anyone else. So, and I'm also not gonna dictate that you should give up added sugar. If you like sugar, go for it, right? I'm doing this just for me, because it feels good. Also, there are massive long-term health benefits of not having sugar. So I just figured, let's do that. It's really hard when you're on the road, especially in the US, right? Because on the road, it's very tempting if you haven't packed a lunch. And who does that these days? We're all too busy to go and get fast food, right? To go to McDonald's, to go to Arby's. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of the you know food items that you would get at those places are packed with added sugar uh, because of the bread and the buns 
partly, but also condiments and things of that nature. So you've really got to look out for that. And it, we, we, we went to Arby's, I think it was, right after the turn of the year. And I was so militant with myself about what I can and can't eat in terms of added sugar that we got there and I was looking up all of the ingredients online and I ended up with just uh, some roast beef. Like I, I knocked the buns, Tara had the buns. I just had the roast beef and a plastic knife and fork. I felt like a bit of a fool, but I was proud of myself for doing something really ridiculous. But that, I mean, that's my life, I suppose, in many ways. The thing that caused me to do this video in the first place uh, was a thing that happened today. I think for the first time this year, I found myself at Walgreens. I was waiting on my prescription. So as I was walking around, I just noticed that half of the products in this store, because of the decision I've made, are completely out of bounds. This is in a pharmacy. This is in a pharmacy, you know, is very unusual and very much a juxtaposition to my experience recently when I visited Paris, right? Their pharmacies, some of them very small, tiny, not on the level of a Walgreens or a CVS and you walk in and all that you see there is, you know, medical stuff. And uh, there wasn't a candy bar in sight. And I'd forgotten what that's like, you know, because it was sort of like that in England as well. It comes down to personal choice. You can almost not blame Walgreens, it's, it's me. I walked in there and picked up a lion bar. You don't have lion bars in America, so that was a lie. Basically, you know, I would go in there while picking up a prescription and I would load my basket with a few chocolate bars. And the irony isn't lost on me. I mean, you won't find a single crease in my jumper. <laughs> that was a joke about ironing, Did, didn't work. The irony is not lost on me that Walgreens deals in medicine, making people better while saying, ooh, look at our fine line of Russell Stover chocolate. This isn't really a criticism as such. It's just me observing this weird paradox in America, which of course is famous for its massive paradoxes within healthcare. And this is just another one, but it's one that I don't think gets talked about very often. It's one that I didn't really observe, I suppose, until I gave up those things. And then I started seeing them everywhere within Walgreens. So it's all funny. It's all hilarious. And I am blooming glad that I gave up sugar. I really am. I don't see myself going back to being that person who devours chocolate and Pez dispensers. This, this is a new normal for me now. Some might say abnormal. Yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. I mean, be kind, don't overdo it. But I thought it might just be of interest to put forth my experiences of doing this in a country where sugar is king. Which is kind of an irony because we are all about the royal family. So all that to say that in addition to recommending that you stop sending those Kate and William plate sets, if you could do likewise with the Queen Anne chocolate covered cherries, that would be most appreciated. Linda57.